Recording started. No, don't say anything for 10 seconds. Hey guys, we're back again. And actually, we're not back again. This is the first time ever at Gridiron Studios. They are welcoming us to his Terradrome. Of course, I'm talking about Mark Van Cannon. And I'm Travis Moody, your host, with my loyal servant. Just kidding. It's Tony <laughs> Romo. Hey, it's Dr. Hart. His loyal a, Uber driver. Yeah, yeah. It's a Saturday Night Live, and we're here in uh, talking Terradrome. Welcome to the Terradrome and Gridiron Studios. And it's the 25 days of Gridmas. So it is the second time and the fourth time we've had you on. Exactly. So... This is the fourth time we've had you on and the second time into the Terror Drum, but you're welcoming us this time right. to Great Iron Studios, and thank you so much. A lot of that. love, man. A lot of love. A lot of love. Welcoming you for the first time. Welcoming me for like the 11th. <laughs> Don't brag. <laughs> Tony digs on our trash. I have to kind of use it. All like, get day. It yeah, That's yeah. why I got what you want. <laughs> exactly. So we're going to talk Gridmas. We got a little Q&A at the end, but let's get down to business. What Gridmas, uh, the idea, tell us about the origin of that and uh, where it came up with. And this is the second annual one, right? Yeah, it's second time. So, uh, when I was talking to Quaid and Colin, you know, it's my partners, a lot of guys, and it's my sons, and we're partners in Grid in Gridiron. And so, we uh, we had Gridmas last year as kind of a run of product that we could get single solo items out to guys that were asking if loadouts could be broken up. Mm -hmm. And Gridmas gave us a chance to kind of fill in some of those gaps. Mm -hmm. And uh, and it was also kind of nice because we could create things that we hadn't done throughout the year that we wanted to because it's such a just every single day is a new release of sorts. Mm -hmm. um, so it was kind of it was a fun push for us during the mm -hmm. holidays. Biggest thing for us was how do we give something to uh, everybody that they can enjoy for Christmas that's you know, maybe doesn't cost an arm and a leg. You know, some of the, some of the loadouts get more right. expensive, but right. For instance, so you you know you might have a loadout around thirty dollars, whatever USD, but then you break it down and you're offering eight dollar, ten dollar, eleven dollar yeah. uh, right. gun, a rifle that maybe someone needs but doesn't need the the pack or the right. extra rocket or handgun. And at least for now, you know, we can offer for the deal. We run a, a little bit of a sale on every item that's that's listed during right. this this mm -hmm. frame and. From, from basically December 1st to um, December 25th, oh. this sale is in place for every one of these items that are listed. So mm -hmm. it's kind of a fun way to get a little a little discount on things yeah. and, and feel like you're getting something. Good. And even better, this is basically my Gridmas vacation. I'm not going home for Christmas. This is my home this time, man. This so high five. Best place to go and uh, we had a good time. We had some wings, a little a couple drinks here and there, watched some fights. He had a well, good the night. Alcohol but... was flowing, baby. Yeah, yeah. You know? that's right. But we're here to talk business. First one, day one. Yeah. So day one, and immediately caught eyes because we're escaping to New York. Never mind raising Arizona over here. Escaping to New York with the Snake Plissken, we got ourselves a Mac-10. Totally. And we this was a gun that we had really, the, the interesting part about this is we were going to put this out last Christmas. And oh, and we were, this was something we wanted to do real bad, and it didn't quite fit into the schedule. Mm. And then uh, through the year, we get pretty inundated with requests and and this has always been a requested gun along the way. And we got to the point where, man, this was, we got to make this thing. It's got to happen. And we thought we were going to do it during our, during our May movie mayhem, which is a lot of more movie weapons. Mm -hmm. So we, we didn't get it in there. So we, we knew day one, this thing had to come out. And it, you know, it basically consisted of our, our Mac 10 build that we had already done, but we, you know, quite a design, kind of a, a pretty slick suppressor. Now, People are going to ask, does this come apart? And it doesn't. And the reason why is the weight of this suppressor with the scope. We didn't want to give that headache to anybody. Mm. You, you'd be just constantly breaking this off, trying yeah. to put a guy's hand around right. it. So it's it's really durable for the look. And you get that kind of also Negan from Walking Dead yeah. used the same weapon. You so don't, You don't need it to come off. Snake no. Plissken never took it off. <laughs> yeah, mag is removable. So we kept it, you know, kind of a gridiron premium style weapon. Yep. And then we did the nice sling bandolier. So, so what a way to kick it off. Uh, yeah. Tony, your thoughts on this one? Oh man, this is this is awesome. This is one of the movie ones I wanted to come out because it's such 
it, it's kind of a ridiculous gun in real life <laughs> because you're not you're not really aiming with this spray gun. <laughs> so I mean, the Mac Ten is awesome on its own, and then when you add the the movie aspect of the suppressor with a scope, that's Kurt Russell all day, baby. I, I love it. Yeah. So and, and he's coming full circle here. Of course, our first thing we ever talked about the Hollywood life is, of course, you oh, have former actors and stuff. And so it, I love how you know it's the GI Joe community, but we love the movie magic. I think if it, I've mostly bought gridiron stuff for Joe's classified, of course. But then I was like, oh, I got you know I got myself a T two, I got myself a T eight hundred, I got myself you know Robocop. Ooh. So I'm kind of filling in the uh, Predator and whatnot. So I'm kind of filling in those holes with your stuff as well. And this just continues that. That's awesome. Yeah. So that was a hell of a way to kick off day one. Day two, we're going to go down the line, guys. This is the first half of Gridmas, 25 days. We get the first half for you, plus some surprises. So stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. Here's day two to Vor Sniper. Take it away with the Viper. So this one, you know, we had done the Tavor before. And... But we had never done kind of a sniper version <clears throat> with a nice scope. And we wanted to have the handle version, which we had done on our desert loadout, kind of our dusty custom version, mm -hmm. um, which didn't at the time also come with a silencer. And this silencer is removable. <clears throat> so you have you have basically our Tavor with handle, but this added the scope. Mm -hmm. uh, we also did our more modern G mags that we have, our gridiron mags. Mm -hmm. Um, so a little different take on, on the gun we had done, but adding the silencer and the scope kind of give it a whole different look. And then um, also including the bipod. So the bipod is removable. Yeah. Bipod is removable and kind of gives a totally different look, a little more of a sniper. Oh, yeah, look. no, that's cool. There's some variation there. So I know this was all, it was this great <clears throat> inspired by the new Modern Warfare game that's out right now, Modern Warfare so, 2. Yeah, the boys, yeah, yeah. that's kind of a... They thing. play those they, games, right? Yeah. They got uh, well, never you know, touched them. <laughs> they don't do yeah. anything anymore. Now they just work at Gridiron. Well, they, well, they maybe not. They just, guns. Wow. Yeah, because yeah, <laughs> uh, MW2 COD came out this October. So, But the, I, I'm hearing that this Tabor sniper is very uh, yeah. popular in the, gun, in the game. And then also, this is a popular item during the Ukraine-Russian war. The Ukrainian oh, yeah. soldiers oh. are using this. And, and maybe that's kind of let you know how it's going. Oh, man. But, uh, yeah. It's a nice yeah. little gun. It definitely has a. I, I think, yeah, there's kind of a villainous part to that, which is cool. It is. Well, I should mean, ask you: Did you look into that Eastern wow. European war at all? Like what they're using? Oh, in modern, yeah, always, I mean, oh, yeah. we're talking so, modern warfare, the game, but there actually is modern war so, still yeah. going on, man. It's yeah. So, have on. you ever seen any oh, of the new tech we're, weapons that you're? We're always by? looking to see if there's things that we haven't yeah. either known about mm -hmm. or, or you know, the best part is uh, how are they adapting to the warfare mm -hmm. over time? Yeah. So how are weapons modified? How are they changing? Mm -hmm. Are they cutting stuff down? Are they taping stuff? Yep. Yeah. So Tony, which one are you gonna which classified or any kind of figure you you're placing with the Tabor? Man, I mean you get so many options that with, with Dusty, you with the Dusty loadout you came out with back in the day a little bit. He's the, it's all uh it's all that that dust khaki color. Yeah, this is our that, first black one. This is the first yeah. black one, so it'll look great with him as well. I mean, Firefly will look great with well. You got the gray mag, and that's that's awesome. I mean, he kind of answered my question because I've been looking for stuff for that new Viper three pack. Yeah, and now yeah, you got you now go. you got the main officer, the Viper officer there. Yeah, kind of like you know, it kind of get gives him a specialty class. This thing yeah, will exactly. set it off real yeah. good. Yeah, um, definitely that's awesome. Special. Hey, you know, I should ask you actually the Pliskin gun. If you don't have a Snake Pliskin, do do you think of a classified figure you could go with uh, that Oof. crazy wacky. Yeah, yeah, it's weird because yeah, because that's a gun for me. You know, I, I think it works as even a, kind of a dreadnought kind of weapon. You could I would think so. I wouldn't put it with Snake yeah. Eyes. That Snake Eyes is too oozy for me. You know. Yeah, I mean? yeah, his is kind of specific. Yeah, with that Mac Ten, can you picture Zorana yeah. with that thing? Yeah, yeah. okay. I think that would be a good yeah, yeah, one. Yeah, 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 because yeah. instead of the chain gun she has, which is great, all she, she has is the run with that little saw on it. Yeah, yeah. Oh my, it's not too bad, but that's a good even this to get crazier. But yeah. no, I, I like the Pliskin gun with Zorana, actually. Oh, they could good, just yeah. use a wacky character. So now we're actually, if you think about it, we're getting, we're, we're conjoining the two classified releases, these new classified figures that are just, I'm hearing people like, stop Hasbro. We're oh, just hitting yeah. our mailbox every day. But now we're getting the guns to go with it right away from Gridiron. So the timing is excellent on that. Right. So, um, speaking of timing. Ooh. Speaking of Gustav M3 Bazooka Solo is our day three of Gridmas. And 
Uh, you might want to pop open that one because it kind of answers a question for us. But uh, over in Arizona, we find ourselves a Tiger Force bazooka. But you want to talk about this item and then maybe possibilities with Tiger Force? Yeah, yeah so it's, David. it's it's interesting because, you know, Tony finds this, this figure just kind of <laughs> hanging out. And uh, looking at how they did the Gustav model in there, uh, this this will give you a really authentic version. This model isn't bad, mm -hmm. but if you want something that's the real thing, this this will give you exact. You get a little bit of again so with like, Target. I had to ask them to go in the back <laughs> and look for it. I'm like, yeah. you got eight of them? Why aren't they on the shelves? Heavily, hev heavily scalped <laughs> over at Target, but yeah, luckily I think so. And if you're in fine. Arizona, these are hitting the targets. You went to one Target. I went to my first Target. Dropped my daughter off at home. Went to one target. Okay, let me see what's going on. And Travis wants this thing. Well, just so happens they had eight of them. And my first target I went to, they had this guy. I'm like, wow. Okay, and what well, are the he's odds? He's lucky. He's coming My here. one vacation of Phoenix. <laughs> yeah. Our Arizona over here in Tempe. And you got the this, classified figures are in you get, Arizona. You're going to love the time. The Patriots Merry Christmas. fan come to the G.I. Joe Patriots <laughs> fan. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the Steve Grogan does it. Merry yeah. Christmas, Moody. That's awesome. Moody -ness. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, thanks again for uh, looking out. But, yeah, let's talk about well, the, 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 the cool thing about this, I'm noticing right off, because this is the first time I've seen it in hand, um, is the OD that they used on him. That paint it's app not, is awesome. It's yeah. not bad at all, yeah. So you can see, I mean, we're very, very close to that. And it's, mm. it's interesting because we – the thought of this, mm. even with him, I wasn't putting the two together right away. And, and, and you had no was, idea that was going to drop no, in your no. hometown. So it's interesting that yeah. we were just doing this because we had a lot of solo requests for just the, the bazooka itself, the actual launcher. Right. So um, this was a chance for us to make an OD version because we had done the Zap version, that really kind of G.I. Joe mm. Green, we call it. Uh, but with this, man, you get the real authentic, you know, OD same same rocket scenario. Mm. So we have two. It comes with two rockets. Did the no Zap launcher. one have a silver bullet there? So it, it has silver with a. Okay. I, I think this it was almost the same paint. The silver like rocket, okay. Travis, was, yeah. not the silver. So you're bullet. getting the same thing as what was in the loadout. I was doing a course action. We were at a bar tonight. Yeah, I hear you. But this will give you a nice, uh, a nice solo take on the Zap bazooka. Mm. Exactly, Gustav, that's yeah. awesome. Um, that will be mine. And it comes with two rockets and the, and the uh, same working uh, functions. So, mm -hmm. so that hidden, this is actually a really good fit. Look at that. Yeah, really good fit color-wise. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's almost yeah, even. Right. Even his even his Tiger Force pants, man. Yeah, rocking. I see this, and I I want the original so bad. Mm -mm. That's the red jersey, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> but this is a good chance for you to pick up the actual bazooka by itself so you don't have to have a zap loadout that has to go with him if you don't need that right mm. so yeah because this one is almost like almost cincinnati Bengals. i mean it's a little blue but it's a little yeah. orange oh there, yeah so it's a little less a little less no you see there, his rockets but, in his back yeah. but then he's got a red so, helmet so it's a little cool. little butt off but, but yeah. cool figure excited to have it thanks yeah. again tony but, so yeah. We're going to go day four. We have another Tavor, and this one was with a launcher. And uh, I know you showed off Stalker with it in there. but Yeah, you that looks so one. legit, too. I like that a lot. So this was one. Guys probably recognize this. We did this as a one of our promo freebie weapons, our mystery weapons. Uh, the only difference is this is now in the Gridiron Premier Weapons line. So we have the removable mag. And we're doing the gray mag with this to give a little bit of contrast, mm -hmm. the gray G mag. Um, the Tavor originally came with that standard, uh, you know, Bushmaster aluminum mm -hmm. mag. Mm -hmm. So now you have a little more modern polymer mag. Uh, and it's that, that same setup with the grenade launcher that's under that bare barrel, which looks pretty intense. That's, that's yeah, insane. Yeah, go ahead, Tony. Talk about it. That's insane. He already had this thing set up with Stalker, and it looked really good. I see it with Stalker. I see it with Beachhead. I see if Duke wants to get nasty with this. Look at that. I mean, it's it that's that's incredible. You know, got, it almost has a sci-fi feel to it. So it, like, it almost does. Yeah, yeah it's a like stormtrooper or you know any of those guys. Like anything. Like yeah, that. you could go Star Wars for sure. Very, yeah, yeah now awesome. I mean after Andor, they're going realistic with a lot oh, of the guns too. So very. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But AK is pretty much it. It's insane. It's almost yeah, a good red dot on it. So. And yeah. a lot of yeah, a lot of folks are pleased that that's being released, you know, alone and, uh, and oh, not yeah. a pack and not a mystery pack too. So yeah, yeah. you're you're really hitting it on Gris Gridmas allowing. Uh, we're going to talk about it throughout. There's a lot of items we see from loadouts that people may not want 
the other ones are may not be able to afford it. They're totally. really the grid miss is giving. And so Trying you're giving yeah. you're giving a lot of fans. But in between, instead of just you don't want 25 days of just items from your loadouts, you're keeping it right. exciting. And we got a lot right. of exciting announcements. Trust me on this one. You want to yeah. make a lot of people happy. This is only this. day four. We got 10 more days to talk about. So uh day five now. Now we are, we are talking about a weapon that we have seen, right? So this was from the iron uh is right, this our Tomahawk, right, Tomahawk. Tomahawk. So we, we got that for Spirit. Love yeah, that. it came with two. Iron I had one X. sitting here, and the other one kind of ran away. Yeah, cool. But uh, this yeah. is the same Tomahawk that was in the Spirit loadout, or yep. the our tracker. Yep. So this tactical Tomahawk, it gives you a modern feel on a Tomahawk. You know, there's not a lot to talk about. It's it's pretty much self-explanatory. But it's yeah. it'd be cool with the blue nice ninjas utility. that just came out. The blue ninja oh, yeah, pack, so and they went on the sale. Blue ninja, good on with Amazon, Outback, so, good yep. with Spirit, good with. I mean, Outback's yeah. a good look with the Tiger oh, Force Outback. Yeah, yeah, you need this. The, the end, want something a little different. The end is a hammer. The other one's a hatchet. I mean, you can't mm -hmm. go wrong with this guy. It's awesome. And it comes with two. Gives you a dual wielding if yeah. you're trying to do some martial arts version. Very cool. So I'm trying to have Snake Eyes just hack up people with this. Right. I'm waiting for that Marauder's uh, spirit to come out so I can have one kind of because I kind of like him in the traditional loadout but that you know a sniper rifle and, and totally. stuff but in this crossbow but then I also want the the setup that you had on that beautiful horse oh I know. so I was like I'm waiting for that marauder little shout out to four horsemen and they 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 never ever yeah uh, I mean they're just they they do such a good job over there awesome sure. there okay day six we're swinging for the fences here sorry Xander Bogarts you're in San Diego but you're uh <laughs> Your Louisville Slugger is here, day six, baseball bat. Yeah. So, I mean, self-explanatory. Mm -hmm. The but, only difference is, is the finish. Yeah, so we, you guys recognize from the Halloween, uh, we did some uh, kind of zombie, uh, walking dead kind of stuff. Uh, we did the bat with the barbed wire. So we've had a lot of requests for a plain bat. No blood, no nothing. But we put our kind of wood grain finish on it. Mm -hmm. So there's a. There's a cool look to it for sure. It's super realistic. There's a cool wood grain bat for you, man. They yeah. put this with a uh, classify. They put this with the, the Marvel Legends gangsters. I mean, mm -hmm. put this in Hammerhead's hand or, mm -hmm. or, or oh, yeah, Jigsaw's yeah. hand and put this in the back of that Bratz vehicle. Oh, <laughs> yeah. totally. you, nailed, you nailed it. Any yeah. of the dreadnoughts. Any yeah. dreadnoughts would have. Dreadnoughts. Exactly. Dreadnoughts. My phony dreadnoughts. You know, <laughs> almost, my, almost doing my dead dreadnoughts. Where were you at, Gifford? Where you at, Dr. Gifford? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the head of me, bro. <laughs> That's a cool one. It's a good little utility piece. I mean, it's yeah. a lot of stuff. To right. So yeah. that was that Bust was some heads with that. That was a little appetizer because this was a big one. This was the biggest, of course. At the end of the week, expect the biggest, right? So we got day seven, day fourteen, day twenty-one. Oh, ah, saboteur oh, loadout, Firefly. This is uh, you saw the video probably on a toy kind of mood. If not, check it out on Instagram at a toy kind of mood stories. We gave you a sneak peek of this. Talk to me. Mark. I'm trying. We also did a, uh, a kind of a walkthrough of the set on our YouTube channel as well. Exactly. And that's the Gridiron Studios YouTube channel. That's right. So subscribe to that. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So this was this this was a complicated one, but it was one. It's that, fucking it gorgeous, man. <laughs> it's Thanks, man. Fuck everything else. It it's is so beautiful. Nice. So this was something that we tried to give the throwback to certain things, like the way in which the the carry handle on the house pack was something unique to ARA to the yeah, retro, yeah. you know, version. Mm -hmm. But but a lot of so many changes in here that but were thrown back to like the toolbox, you know, that that we all remember, man, that freaking lid that you ripped off and had the tools, you know, had a socket in. set in there. Yeah. <laughs> it was so awesome, right? And we remember those details. So we were like, how do we do that without really just doing that old retro pack? And the biggest thing we could think of was having an actual bomb drawer that came out of the pack. And you know we could do an actual like explosive, like a little, you know. Maybe hold that up a little yeah, higher. His, so. his dynamite pack ready. Dynamite pack, just ready to be planted. Just do some yeah. sabotage to that. I mean, USS just the flag. Yeah, just the detail and the color contrast on the pack. It was all gray, like your typical. You know, the big companies just paint all gray. This when you get your OD greens in there and the shelves, and even there's a wash there. There even even here, there's there's a little bit of a wash. And different staining, and then even your tanks. It looks like it's it's been used. It's, it looks realistic. There's nothing. This doesn't look like a toy. It looks brand realistic. new. Yeah, he's gonna get down and dirty. He's yeah. gonna get some wear and tear on it. Mm. Yeah. We tried to do. Um, it looks like hardware, like yeah. typical. Yeah. You know, you're you're in a garage. It's be, it's beat up a little bit. It's stained. It's been used. 
and this is just beautifully painted. We tried to have something that that represented the tools that were in the box, mm -hmm. but that had a real practicality. I don't have it with me, but this also comes with a little blast effect of the oh, torch. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, yeah, so I remember seeing that. Well. And then we'll have some the photos pictures. up yeah. as well. Yeah. Um, the other cool thing was we designed these tanks not only for the ability to paint, but this comes off. So, you know, if you wanted this a different color, you could do whatever you wanted. But it had the bracket for the torch and the actual groove mm. to put on here. So, and the fit, the, the nice part is the fit of this is very clean to the brass, Snug, you know, yeah. to the gauges. And yeah, so. and you almost have, you have some rustic coloring there with the grays. And it just really, the whole pack, on a character like this, that's pretty, you know, singular dimensional, is just all gray. This whole thing gives him some life. And you then, know. of course, we have the our representation of the green cell phone, which we weren't about to make a you know, flip phone. Mm -hmm. So this, yeah, we finally kind of took care of it. Yeah. This looks like my 800 at work. Yeah. So, uh, man, that, that's crazy. Yeah, he's, a, he's a saboteur. He's going to be blowing stuff up and setting stuff up. And, of course, you have the, the peg in the backpack, too. Yeah, yeah. Right on there. And then uh, yeah. that UMP. So, so, yeah, let's talk about this first. So that UMP, when we looked at designing the gun, you know, sitting talking to, to Quaid about, what gun we were going to do for this since that first that gun that he originally came with is so uh kind of rare we wanted to have something that was kind of modern and yet you would see it on a battlefield now mm -hmm. and we went with the ump 45 and this regular stick mag it represented what that gun looked like to us when, you know especially me when i was young mm -hmm. uh there was a design quick kind of went with the folded look it's a fixed um stock but sure. it has that kind of angle that he had on his uh, but looks very uh, real, like that would be a working functional mm -hmm. thing. Absolutely. And the other option we wanted to do is actually the removable silencer. You, you can call this a bunch of things. There's holes in it, so whatever you want to call it, we call it a silencer. A suppressor silencer. Yeah, and we went with the muzzle brake that you know has a really nice mm -hmm. fit to this. So it's a nice gun on its own. Mm -hmm. um, and Gridmas isn't over, so oh. you may still see it again. If anybody wants that gun singular, you may see it. At oh, I'm just saying. Hey, we're going to need a retro me. Firefly ASAP because I got mine all like mavericked out with his, oh, uh, yeah. when he had the urban camo uh, yeah. Top Gun Maverick the loadout. And I'm like, I don't want to cheat because I love how the bomb vest looked with that look with, oh, yeah, the, yeah. with the air pilot look. Sure. But yeah. now I'm like, shit, because we need that the retro oh. carded Firefly because then, yeah. Then he we'll put that the in there setup. too. He fit the collar. So this was the thing. So yeah. we, in looking, you know, some of the people that saw how I did that collar bend down on the, the custom, um, it really inspired this this formula. When we looked at, at once we took off that vest, the big bomb, bomb disposal vest, you know, and he's a he's a guy that places bombs, not takes them out. So mm -hmm. we're like, how do we do it? And when you know, when you discover that crunch, <laughs> that app crunch that was there completely being wasted, um, we went to try to design something around it that would still give that look. And so we went with the kind of retro look of it, adding in a nice holster for 45, uh, kind of a side little cross draw sure. that has a removable 45. It also gave us a stick mag, you know, in here. That was the first time we'd done that. Um, and then just having this nice kind of collar breakdown. Yep. Nice peg hole so you can get your backpack in there. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, just a nice piece. Yeah, and as kind of like a hands-on guy, he's going to be busy. So I have yeah. to have a lot of busy. That kills the bomb disposal. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> this is gone. Okay. Unless, so like I said, you have the Maverick loadout looks good because it looks yeah. like he could wear I, that. And, I, I'm yeah. a customizer. I'll turn this into something else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Use it for something. Else. We need another Firefly ASAP. Get us that card at one, please, mm -hmm. Hasbro. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's awesome. Thing. That was a home run for sure. And I've seen that's, a million that's, of them that's on the nasty way. Load already ordering. The, the sales for that one are through. The, through, through. Yeah, we, through. We've just been moving so many products during this Christmas yeah. time. It's it's crazy. And we appreciate everybody's patience yeah. as we're trying to get orders out. Right. So. so that was the first week. So how did you feel after that? Just that first week of Christmas? It was year? it was uh, we it was crazy because last year, I think it was a little slower going. People didn't know really what we were doing. Mm hmm. And I don't think they really caught on that we were going to be doing something literally every day. We I don't even know if we spelled it out. But by about the third day, everybody's like, oh, they're going to be putting something out every single day. So this time, I know there's a lot of expectations, which is which is cool for us because it pushes our game up. Sure. And it also makes us want to just make that much better of stuff. And man, yeah, no. and so our, our, our list, we, we went over our list a lot sooner. 
we worked through our, our the products we were going to come out with uh, way ahead of time this time. The last time it was kind of a fly by night idea. It was like, hey, how do we do something that would be kind of cool for Christmas? And it happened. And it just about killed us, but it happened. <laughs> this this time we're prepared. We're ready. We have some some really cool surprises in here. So yeah. yeah. And thanks to you, we have a big sneak peek of week two because oh, we're man. again we're recording on a Saturday <laughs> in the studio. Uh, we wanted to avoid those Wi-Fi issues that totally. you've had, I've had. It's all good. We'll, we'll oh, yeah. sort it all out. But this way we could have we had a nice time, and this oh, yeah. way we'll get our show on Tuesday, totally. day eight. So this is the beginning of week two. We're going AK Draco fixed bayonet with for the Crimson Guard that just released, and I think you, you got one in the back there. Oh, We've got them uh, anyway. Fred Broca and company are going to be happy with this one. Talk to me. Mark. So uh, we, you know, in looking at the Crimson Guard, we got a, it was crazy. We got a couple of them in early, and so we thought, well, let's not waste the opportunity. This is a chance for us to really do something we've wanted to do for a long time. Staying relevant. Absolutely. Staying re Absolutely. You're not just doing stuff for Duke and Roadblock. No. Volume wave one, <laughs> volume, where, 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 volume where, seventeen. You're, you're doing stuff for figures that most people don't even have yet. They're still waiting for pulse. Oh. Well, I'm still waiting for my pulse, but I get Amazon yeah. real quick. But. I think with this, it was yeah. so. Guys will also notice this because this was another mystery weapon because we had already designed this and put this kind of together. We knew where we were going to use it, and we knew how, but we wanted to do something that was a little more generic that we could throw in. That could surprise some people not seeing this. <laughs> so this is a Draco, or if you're familiar with the Draco line, it's it's a Draco yeah. pistol. Um, in our design side, <clears throat> this is more of a mini. Uh, if you're well, really wanting Draco's to Draco's out for the AK-47. This is a little bit of a it's larger already, one because of the, the Draco handle. pistol. Yeah, it's and, just and a and Draco handle, pistol. Draco with pistol, but this one's a little bigger because you yeah. get the the back handle. And then yeah. I love. Yeah. yeah, I don't believe the Crimson Guard one is. Is the the blade? Is it? Uh, it does. It, it does. does. No, it, but it's I'm AR. Looking, no, but I'm looking at it right now, and the blade is is that silver there or black? No, that's just the knife. Yeah, right? the bayonet. The bayonet, silver. The bayonet yeah. is silver. Okay, yeah. so but you got silver. the brown leather, uh, kind of banana clip. But you, yeah. what is the name of that mag? We well, couldn't figure oh, it out. Right? Man, brown stone or something. Yeah. <laughs> Can't remember the name. All good. You, 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 yeah, let us know. The guys don't know it yet. Let us know the call. Bobby B. If I try to look it up, I'll be here for a while. We'll yeah, we were looking it up, but so, either way, but it's nice. But nice it's touch. unique. Yeah, it's a unique uh, mag to our lineup. We normally have you know our standard mags or the polymer style. Right. Um, this will give you a that look. mag's supposed to be brown. It stands out so, really nice right. on that weapon. Mm -hmm. and, and something kind of classy to me. It, Very classy so, with that ceremonial looking exactly. thing that yeah. the Crimson Guard's known for. So. Right. Like you see the pictures. Uh, just the way you say it's oh, very ceremonial. Yeah, just, just the way you always like we're standing here. You want to talk about that uh, photography real quick? Um, yeah, man, it's all great. <laughs> no, no you have a shout out to somebody. I, I, well, we have great <laughs> photography across the board. Yeah. There's a lot of great photographers out there. He's like, it's us. great. This guy only <laughs> had ice teas like on. Right. I was like, yeah, man, this was great. <laughs> Arnold no. Palmer, he's a little whacked out. <laughs> well, Too many of those AP. Drunk on Arnold Palmer. That's a first, guys. Yeah. So we, uh, but yeah, we have some great photographers out there. I mean, uh, well, we have we have two really that are a great shout out for is uh, the Imperial Grunt. Arnold does an awesome job on our like location Arnold. shots. <laughs> Arnold, Arnold, Arnold. Arnold. <laughs> he's an Arnold. <laughs> yeah, Arnold does a great job. <laughs> Imperial, Imperial Grunt. Arnold Barma. Yeah, adding Imperial Grunt, the Imperial Grunt. He's he does awesome work. Uh, we've also he's been one of our first ambassadors from the beginning. Now, we, most recently, we've taken on a second ambassador, which, man, we're so happy to have him. His talents are crazy. The Boneyard uh, Collectibles, and Mike does an awesome job. Great. And so he's coming on. You'll start seeing a lot of photos being posted on our site with his stuff as well. Mm -hmm. He does more in-studio, kind of uh, capturing studio looks with backgrounds and stuff, but they're, they're cool shots too. Cool. Um, but, yeah, you'll see this on our Crimson Guard and the photos on the website and all that. But Yeah. Yeah. So that's that? Yeah, because I made Draco. one. Shout out to IBMMT. I got that Fred Broca head sculpt from him on, e on uh, eBay. Yeah. And he works for the Foosh. He does a lot of cool reviews. And so my Fred is going to have that one just to stand out with the brown nice. clip. Well, and we felt too, like, so. and I think a lot of you guys out there are the same way with this. I think that the hybrid gun that was used when we were kids, we recognized as being kind of an AR-ish hybrid. Mm, yeah, sure. But you know, if you think about the AK and how that really belongs to the, the bad guys and the yeah, Cobra, of course, this is this is the gun that he needs. So would this yeah. be a seven six two? Should be. Yeah. Okay. And uh, but yeah, so that's that. 
All right, day nine, we got ourselves something you've seen before, but it's great in case you didn't want the whole set. It is the crossbow. We've seen it in Snake Eyes Loadout. We've seen it in uh, Spirit. It? Spirit. Spirit. Uh, yep. Scarlet. Scarlet. Scarlet as well. And we did a bunch of different color variations where yep. uh, we've had tons of requests for just the crossbow. And so these are where... And so it comes with a bolt. bolt it does. Yeah. It comes with one yep. bolt. You saw uh, that coming though, right? I mean, requests for these were oh, by yeah. themselves. And, I, and yeah. I think it's a it's a cool one for us because... We love to get it to everybody the way they want it. We, we're not trying to force people with a loadout to have to buy a certain thing. So so feel confident that over time, we're usually breaking loadouts out. So if you see something you really like, those requests are noted. Man, We, we if we get enough of those, we'll break out a certain thing. Right. The crossbow was something that definitely needed to be on. But the loadouts are really cool. And yeah. It's my favorite thing, and it's worth thirty four. So well, and not to mention, if you just take the math, and you can break if them you up. Add, if you you add all those up, all the parts that are usually in those. That saboteur set has thirteen different parts in it, individually painted. It's the biggest loadout. And so, it, I mean, do the math. It makes everything like really just a few. You said it was the biggest loadout. Biggest oh, loadout saboteur so set. But yeah, no, it's great. A lot of people are going to be able to get that crossbow. Yeah, uh, and we just did it in black. It has a good yeah. kind of – we always do kind of a matte to satin finish. Should we, we see some more realistic. colors in that in the future? Yeah, I think so. A solo. Release yeah, solo. Yeah. yeah. And same for some of the other weapons, too, oh, yeah. that you release totally. in black. Day 10. And this was actually today, right? No, no, Officially. was it day yesterday? yesterday? Yesterday or today? Today. 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 Today was day 10. Tactical M4. Here we go. three. Yeah. And this, a lot of people wanted this. In. Back uh, in black. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. This was something that uh, Quaid had done the designs on this and really worked hard to get something that was like specific mm -hmm. and and to have a uh, a gun this detailed in an AR platform going back a year and a half when we first started that AR that we made uh, you know the the improvements that Quaid's done not only to the models and just his own techniques in getting this model miniaturized the right way this uh this gun was a, this sure. is the epitome of, the, of to us a really really nice AR. tony awesome. talk about it this, this thing's awesome i loved it the first time i saw it with a zap that, loadout right? yeah. the green. and it was green, green and it was dope and green it's badass and black i mean look at the, i mean this thing is this thing you is have crazy. to show it up because it's matching yeah, your it's black, with my black yeah, so yeah. I throw my hand. yeah there you go you cool. see that bad boy there you go. That, cool. that, but we'll, yeah, we'll have images on the screen clean. as well too. Yeah, but we wanted to show you guys stuff in hand, uh, yeah. as well as as well as the great photography that's at the uh, Gridiron underscore Studios and Gridiron dot Studio uh, Instagram. So go follow those. Need about ten of these. But yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know Dave, Dave's story was super pleased that they came out. Yeah, they, so, Dave. Dave's the one that was yeah. talking about that. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah. So it, yeah, this we got questions. So we got right, Q and A's. Right. We got Q and A's from a toy kind of mood and Terradrome members that couldn't be here in Arizona. It's not as cool as me, and they couldn't make it here. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, so no, no. But so these these th next three days, three ish days. Uh, I wasn't even ready for it, right? Because it was like yeah. we, we got about so it was a Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. We're gonna go Sunday day eleven right now. This is new for us, Tony. Very new. So First we time. are just First time, as, baby. We are just as surprised. You guys have already seen this. We haven't even seen this yet. <laughs> so this Patau. So obviously this was the Stalker M16 with suppressor that we came out with in the Stalker loadout. Mm. But man, this was one. It's, we needed to do a cool camo print on. You know, you got a cool sniper rifle. We get in that base color OD, that mm -hmm. dark OD. And then we do kind of a, a light army green net mm -hmm. oh, over the top. Yeah, and the clip really pops out. And we too. tried to, yeah, we went yeah. with kind of a, uh, it's more our olive. Kind clip. of a, so uh, another little clip, clip, little yep. contrast. It's a little uh, yeah, lemon lime. Jungle camouflage right here, baby. Silencer, just like Stalker, comes off mm -hmm. the, the, the suppressor. Oh, oh geez. So what are you doing with this one, Tony? Man, I'm, I, it, this one will look great with Stalker too, but I mean, to me, that's that's Stalker's weapon, right? So I might have to replace Stalker's one and his loadout with this and give the black one to somebody, somebody else. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, you get give it maybe low light doesn't want to go to downrange and he gets this, which reminds you know? me, you know, I'm going to ask one of the QA questions right now, just tied in uh, our, our boy Dreadnack Ryan Sweeney. Shout out to him. The Island of Misfit Toy Collectors, subscribe. They get the streamathon going on as we speak. 
he asked this. He's talked. He wants to know: Are we going to see any Vietnam packs for Stalker, Snake Eyes, Storm Shadow from the Joe comic? Because this one reminds me of one is done. You know, <laughs> right there. So one of the guns are done. So what are we doing? Are we going to see anything Vietnam packs? Well, we did the Stalker loadout, which was very close. I mean, it was it was completely inspired and 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 designed based on the seventies, sixties, seventies Alice pack. Frame, right rucksack, right out of the Joe issue. There's a modern twist to it, and so you can put it this way. I'll, I'll, I'll make it simple. Sure. We will be doing authentic historical gear. It'll military come along the way. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, that's our root history, of yeah, all yeah. of it. So yeah. military history to us is is Go. number one. Right. The fantasy, sci-fi, all that stuff is very cool. But we love the root in yeah. how these guns are. And we can right. tell you that the, as as far as our friend Leonard Penzika. He's been requested. That's one of the most requested figures sets for them is the wow. Vietnam set from the comic of, of those three guys. So, and that you know, that stalker set is is still flying out the you know it's flying out the door and and uh, we've had as it should so, yeah and that's that's had such a, a big response because I think man emotionally we love that comic issue we love that look mm -hmm. and I think just having stalker with a radio pack you know yeah. that kind of Vietnam style radio pack. The folded antenna. He was one of my there. figures of the year without that set. Did he had that yeah, set. Yeah, he had just really. Top five. Yeah, totally. Mm -hmm. For sure. So we'll have more Q and A in a little bit. So day twelve, we're talking Monday. Monday, 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 so, mortar. Monday mortar time. Monday mortar. So, Monday mortar. so you all kind of recognize Monday, this. We Monday mortar mortar. We did this with the mortar set. This was our mortar that came with the full loadout. Short fuse time. Yeah, exactly. So our mortar, mortar, mortar soldier set or mortar mm -hmm. trooper set. Yeah. So we definitely wanted to come out with this solo, and we wanted to do it in an authentic army OD green. Um, there's a there's a throwback to short fuse, obviously too, but I think the the other one in black really pays that more homage. My very first Joe short fuse. Because mm -hmm. right. he had the most gear, right? Short fuse and <laughs> snake eyes. Yeah, the most gear. And it does come with two mortars, two rockets. So even if you go with this solo um, and you didn't get the full set, you're still getting, you know, a, a functioning kind of workable yeah. Very you know, cool. setup. So nice. Yeah, hopefully some guys will enjoy setting this up. Not a bad way cool. to start your week. All right. We're getting into Tuesday now. Day lucky number 13. This day 13. Tuesday. We're Which on Tuesday. We had a little preview of this. <laughs> but uh, we thought we'd. You know, definitely get this into goodness. Have sure. you seen this custom? A oh, Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar. <laughs> as Man, road I, pick. How do you use that as road pick? Look at that. Now I got to get this right. Early. Yeah. So with this, we want to do the single release of the cinder block, but we had to add some little touch to it. A little, little bit of violence in there. Mm. Doesn't hurt anybody. So there was no blood on the other one. Though, though. No, it was clean. Oh, that was the one actually Ryan asked you about on the last one. And we so, held it for good. So, good yeah, good. geesh. I think even back, was that even back in like September, September or something? Yeah. September 6th on our last, check it out, the last time we had him on the Terror Drum yeah. stream of Murata Rubin. Shout out to Murata Rubin. Uh, yeah, yeah. he's our boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that we, Ryan asked you right on the on there, and here we go. Ask and you shall receive with Gridiron Studios. You yeah. got it right there, the bloody cinder block. And that's day day thirteen, yeah, and so um, yeah. So I mean, that's pretty much it, right? For oh, so you know the they're tuning in for something, right? I Stay think so. The, the video for something. Yeah. I think so, guys. Uh, tomorrow. So this is the Wednesday. only place they'll hear that. This is like comic that's book it. day. Is tomorrow? What's oh, what it else is tomorrow? Tomorrow's AEW Dynamite. Yeah. Tomorrow. What else is tomorrow on tomorrow a Wednesday? Sunday. I think sometimes it's like NBA game. What's going on Wednesday night? So Wednesdays for goodness is means loadout day. Wednesday's loadout. That's loadout, loadout day. day. Is that how it goes? That's how okay. it's been, and we kind of are following this pattern. Right. I gotta remember. I gotta remember that for my wallet. So we're ending two weeks of goodness with. Dun dun roll, dun, dun dun. Wait. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> so. We had to do this. Now, there was a couple things in here to plan ahead for this. Uh, we were really trying to find a way to, to multitask or, you, you know, utilize the the vest setup that Firefly, that we did for Firefly with the collar. We loved how it left the, um, we love how it left the ab crunch. So this was kind of a way to, you know, utilize that same set. Mm -hmm. We gave the two-tone paint with the green and the black. Definitely a throwback to the the retro Alpine. 
for us. Mm, Alpine. So um, you might want to just hold it up a little bit. That gets, yeah, there you go. We get to, we might have a little bit of lighting uh, area. A little better. So let me kind of go through this. So sure. the, what we got is, you know, this, this vest setup was one that we kind of knew we'd have our route to the look. Number two, the hat had to happen. And, you know, that hat to us, I know, is iconic. Those goggles. Wait, hold on. Gridiron's doing hats now? Hats, man. You're doing right, hats. It's right here. Gridiron's There's doing hats. Cap. Doing caps. Cap. That's your first. It's our first. And it looks lovely. Jeez. And we did. So what we're hoping, and we'll <coughs> see. I know we're recording ahead. There might be some another surprise with this, but I'll, I'll leave that up to actually at real time when that happens. Whoa, but, um, oh, but, damn. But uh, this, we, we tried to design more of an operator feel with the headgear kind of around the hat. Uh, it made sense, man. That guy's climbing mountains. He's got, some, he's, 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 that's iconic for him. He yeah. wore the cap. Well, Tony, ever since they shown that silent issue, Snake Eyes set, we knew this was coming, but we didn't know it was coming for Gridness. We know this sucker was coming, especially with not only the Snake Eyes pack, with his uh, hit and run pack. So that hit, and so this is a little behind the scenes on that. The hit and run pack was Alpine. So when we designed that pack, uh, we clearly were saying. This is going to be for Alpine, but we got to wait till we get the hat done and we do all that other stuff. But we had the completed parts to do a hit and run. We had the the car. We had the, uh, the, the helmet with the goggles. We could do red. So we're like, let's go forward with a hit and run as a first mountaineering mm -hmm. kind of set uh, so you could customize a hit and run figure. And then knowing the Alpine was coming, and we just wanted to make sure it was right. And basically the big thing we are waiting for was Stalker. We wanted that Stalker body. So I'll, I'll give you the full rundown on this custom real fast. And you know how we are. We don't like to give you too many complicated customs. This was, yeah, that's a Romo. Tony just, <laughs> he loves to give us that stuff. Um, but this was a just beachhead legs. We just popped them off. We pulled off beachhead's diaper. We threw the diaper, the legs, over Stalker's pelvis piece. We used Stalker's complete upper body, threw our piece on, and threw the hat on. Too easy. There was no, there was no paint of anything. And uh, I think it gave you a good look of Alpine, you know, at least good enough for me. And again, yeah. the different, the varied colors. Again, it's like you guys are just going to another level into this next year of gridiron, this other year, and like just everything is popping. So you're not just matching colors like traditional action figures, Hasbro stuff. You got you got about six or seven different colors. You got a blue on the screen. You got a different color olive for the walkie. You've got a sand, <laughs> uh, nice beige tan uh, pack there. You got the blacks. You got it's just pop, everything just pops on all these new loadouts you got for both Firefly and Alpine. Would you still call that the gra a grappling, a grappling hook yeah, gun? Yeah. So you know when Jeez. I when, when we sat down to really do the design on this, I mean, really talking to both Colin and Quaid, we we kind of had. The idea of uh, how do we get the things that need to happen? You know, when usually we're doing the checklist on a, on a loadout, is what's most iconic. That grappling hook gun was mm -hmm. kind of the, the big thing we all loved. At least I know I freaking loved it. And so we already had designed this reel basically for this gun. So we were doing the wow. standalone 203. So without the grappling hook, you have a grenade launcher. So your figure... <laughs> Has a, working, has a secondary weapon anyway. Working grappling hook. <laughs> so now you have this working grappling hook set up, and it gives you that really iconic look for Alpine. And and so we knew there was there was a couple things that had to happen with Alpine. You had to have that 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 weapon with the grappling hook. You had to have the hat. We covered that. It was all about this SMG. And I don't know about you guys, but man, this was like for me, that had to have a particular look. Now. Mm -hmm. Now, I'll have a lot of the gun guys. They'll be like, hey, 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 I know you're doing something different there. And we did for a good reason. Not the Beretta. Exactly. That Beretta, we all know that that was a Beretta SMG originally back yeah. in the 80s. But the, when we took the Tech 9, it really had a cool feel. And so, man, you know, I know a lot of the guys, I answer the question of, why did you do this? And I always say, because it looked cool. This was that, this is exactly that situation. Okay. When we started modifying this weapon, we were like, man, this, if we threw that front grip on there, this really has that throwback look to what, what he had. Definitely. But um, with this, it's kind of nice, man. We did, you know, the same loop for a sling on the back, so it'll hang from him. 
So you can hold basically both weapons. What's old is new, and what's new is old again. And you guys continue to mesh the the modern day sensibilities of modern combat with the real American hero look. And you guys do it. You did it here. You didn't just co copy everything one to one. Oh. It'd be no fun. You you guys are, are yeah. bringing in your own grit. That's a gridiron style. It's exactly. a, it's a mashup of of the two, the modern and the old day, the yeah. 80s and the 2020s, and no, you're doing it. What guys are going to notice with this, not only do we take that Tech 9 and really kind of beef it out with some auxiliary stuff, you know, we put kind of a Picatinny grip system in there so we could get a flashlight on it, a laser, all the stuff that he would need a on laser. the SMG. Yeah, it's it's a laser. Laser. On the yeah, air-cooled barrel. <laughs> on a, so we, and we still have the vents that you can see through. So there's really cool detail in here. Double mag. Um, this was the big one. Is This is the first time what a we've had it's basically beefier too, a that. stack mag you know, an actual bracketed stack mag on the sticks, um, you know, for the nine millimeter stick. So, Crazy. Crazy. and that gives a totally different look to that gun. Right. Uh, you almost don't see the tech nine in there. No, but makes the tech nine extra more mag on his chest, more 45, 1911 on his holster. Yeah. Come on. He's got, he's got his own 800 radio on the side. It's, it's, that's great. Right. right? Of course we had to give it's him, awesome. man, you know, the big buoy. I mean, he's climbing mountains, man. It's our throwback to the movie Cliffhanger. Yeah. You know, Rambo. Uh, slice some snakes off that mountain. Some slice the line. <laughs> yeah, that's perfect. So, yeah. And like so you said, it's amazing. easier for people like me. You can't custom for shit. That's an easy one to do. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's very easy. Yeah. If you can get, yeah. you know, you, I, mean, I know Beachhead is a little tougher now, but I mean, a lot of guys pick well, these Beachhead, up. Beachhead, he was on some sites for even like on a discount. Yeah. Uh, uh, so, I know a lot of guys have this usually sent And Stalker Zone like, was on Amazon for 14 he's, bucks. I think he's still there. Yeah. Not maybe yeah. not 14, maybe. I'm not sure. But yeah. Yeah. He was pretty pretty cheap for easy to get. Deals. But, oh, man. Whoa. The goggles set it off. His little his flashlight. And then we did the removable pack so you have you can actually take the rucksack out if you want to put a net in there if you want to do a different radio gear. and exactly our the way these are set up now they're pretty universal so you could do radios you could do uh, the different types of packs we do it's can be thrown in yeah, yeah. colored stuff. packs it's so it just gives you a nice basket and that has a peg in the background that net is you had for dust it's all everything's pegged now. everything's yeah, pegged, everything's yeah, pegged. in case you missed the last episode oh that. Um, and of Look course man he had to have his mountain pick you know, that's, that's, that's another icon. Yeah, and that's got so much detail. Mm -hmm. It's uh, it's great. It's very simple, but Quaid, man. Uh, you guys are <laughs> all, you guys are all sure. killing it. Shout out to Quaid and Colin. Yeah. You're not here today, though. Uh, and yeah, they run away from you guys. I tell them, yeah, the guys are going to be in the studio. Oh, man, we're out. Saturday we're night. Out. We're it's, out. It's, 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 it's we're freaking, out with you. It's It's freaking nerd, nerd night for my we are, <laughs> we, are we are recording at 1130. Uh, what, what is this? Arizona time? What do you call Arizona, it? Arizona. Mountain, 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 Mountain Standard. Standard. Is that? Standard. Yeah, Mountain Standard. Mountain Standard. Yeah, yeah. So, all right. So, day 15. No, no, I'm kidding. No, I'm kidding. Totally. We're, already, we're already spoiling this is As far as we're going. Yeah, no, we're already spoiling that. Uh, now, this will run all You don't the want to tell us the next 10 days we're drawing with you, Mark. You can tell us later. No, we you got tell us later. <laughs> but this is a bombshell exclusive. Make sure you check it out. GridironStudios.com. Uh, it'll be on sale tomorrow. So check it out. Oh, my goodness. I will tell you guys one thing. What's up? In, this, in the next 10 days, you know, following this 13, 14, um, 14. let's just say... And we had a lot of requests for this and a lot of questions about this. Sergeant Slaughter will be covered. How do we, is that a way to say it? Oh, oh. No, that's, 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 good, say that's a good iron way to cover it. Somebody man. call Australia and look at Zazel on the phone. Zazel, where you at? You Your listen to man, this? Sergeant Slaughter, Slaughter's house. Sergeant uh, Slaughter will be covered. He will be covered. He will be covered. Like and I, yeah, I know he's probably got three or four. And these guys have so. seen a couple yeah. things. So they're, I know they're being pretty like, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. You've been drinking too many Arnold Palmer. Totally I don't know shit. <laughs> I don't know shit. All right, let's get into some Q&A. Yeah. All um, right, cool. So these Q&A questions are from a toy kind of mood, and welcome to the Terradrome. Again, subscribe, like like this video, subscribe, check us out at a toy kind of mood on Twitter and Instagram. Do it now. All right, so we got some nice toys behind us. Let's, let's pull out that Duke real quick, and let's pull out that Bazooka Tony. And, uh, yeah, we got some Tiger Force stuff. And, uh, yeah, we got a little lucky. He's probably hit everywhere else pretty soon. Maybe by the time you guys watch this, you'll have it in hand. Maybe mm -hmm. not. Uh, Mark, Tiger Force, you got anything, any plans for some of these subgroups, Python Patrols, uh, Tiger Force, 
What's your opinion on some of these subgroups, specifically Tiger well, Force right now? You got this. Yeah, you know, I think I think uh, in I, I'm, I don't know if I speak for everyone, but you know, I know there is some <laughs> weird kind of theory with this, right? We some of us really like this, or some of us don't. I, I I've, I've never been a hater of it. I think I like the original better. The same. original, you know, motif and all. You know, now they got a hand. Like, this is pretty not cool. Bad. Yeah, you see, you see the one one mind, but you see that thing in person. Dope. Oh my it's god! Not bad. Yeah. And so, I can't believe I even have this in hand. Thanks again. Weird, yeah. You're welcome, yeah. bro. I think you know when I see this, though, as far as, as me as a collector, I like it, man. I'll I'll I'll, I'll keep it in my collection. The Python Patrol stuff. Mm. Okay, <laughs> so here's what I gotta say about this. So in these days, you'll. I don't want to tell you too much. All, all I can tell. <laughs> Like, so that's why he didn't drink, that's why he drank ice tea tonight. Tonight. we oh, try to get him to drink all night shit. Right? yeah we're all like oh, so let me just say this is a shout out to, oh to one of our gosh. good like good friends here gridiron dan does an awesome job for us kind of helping us find some stuff that we can't find and uh if if anybody has any questions as to if we're going to approach the color match <laughs> on any of this <laughs> This should answer your question. I think that's a bona fide hell yeah. <laughs> I don't know exactly the schedule, but I can tell you, you you will see some of our current loadouts in this color. You heard it first, you with, heard it first here. Probably with the bats too. Who knows? You heard it first here on the Terradrome. So that, there you go. So yeah, you might. Your butt, Tiger Force is a no for now, right? Just a no. Uh, I think I think we I think looking at the color scheme that they're doing anyway, and you look at like Outback. They're very realistic in their tones. So I think it's a lot of bad. our – I think, you know, like the ODs and the tans are are, are realistic in the sense that mm. you can add really stuff we already make into yes. this. I don't know if we necessarily need the loadout for this yet until we see the original thing. Right. I got it. Great. Great yeah. answer. Okay, cool. So we got that. We just wanted – we were just showing stuff. We just want to show That's you. That's all we wanted Travis to Travis just want to show you and brag what he got. We what this guy was going to say. We're just like, <laughs> we got it first, Bob. All right, anyway. Sure. Well, I'll, I'll do one more plug. If you get this figure, you're going to want this. Yeah, yeah. So that, that's, that's no doubt. That's the no brainer. Come on now. Yeah, yeah. You're going you're gonna to want the day three uh, bazooka for sure. What else? We I'm got the questions. So, so the, these, these couple of questions are from our friend uh, Dreadnought Ryan, of course. So he asked about a modern comms pack, modern communication pack. Uh, wow. You know, I, I would say, you know, we've already kind of covered it in a couple ways. I mean, we, if you think about it, we we covered it with with our um, RTO pack, um, you know, for our hand, for our, our personal unit. Um, we've covered it in our in our handhelds, our 800s, mm -hmm. right? 800s, yeah. Our handheld radios are there. And then when we did the uh, when we did the uh, the artillery, right, the howitzers. We had a radio, a oh, base yeah, yeah. radio set yes. in there, and we did a satellite dish in there. And we've we've since have made those actual solo items. I don't know right? if you meant like da um, more data pad kind of stuff, like iPad, laptop, or, yeah. lap, like wristwatch, kind okay. of like that. So I can approach, yeah, so, modern combat, modern warfare. So on more combat. like yeah, like laptops, that kind of thing, digital kind of stuff. And yeah. and that answer is absolutely yes. Um, yeah. Hands <laughs> down, we will be hitting all kinds of equipment now going into next year. We have some serious plans. Well, I mean, like some serious. freaking like I know it's more of a Star Wars thing, but like yeah. a hologram popping up under. So there's the some shit. cool, especially yeah. with um, us kind of leading into like Halo more shit. Star Wars, more sci-fi. We're gonna see a lot more kind of fantasy sci-fi mm -hmm. going into the first of the year, <clears throat> and we're hoping to definitely get some of that tech stuff. So yeah, if right. you're looking for high tech, kind of yeah. high tech stuff. Yeah. Cool. And then his other question, Drones, that kind of thing. Yeah, for, yeah. Oh yeah. So the the ego, there's a, that's mm -hmm. a great one too. So here's another his other question. And we think about Sarge with this one. So if, if it is a spoiler, you don't have to. But uh, salute hands and fists. I know those are highly requested. And actually, Hasbro said that they do the, a next, couple more. the next Sergeant Slaughter variation would have the salute. Because that was actually yeah. from Sergeant Slaughter himself. So that he he actually oh yeah I remember that he had the I remember with, that with uh, Emily during the pulse. Didn't Connor. this new Sergeant Slaughter come with a he he no like tons of hands tons of hands it was a finger 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 and he trigger hands finger. three yeah. I think it was a fist okay the grappling hands oh, oh, grappling hands I grabbed so I think the Marvel Legends I grabbed the Marvel Legends salute hand okay oh there you go well you already yeah but it's a Shang Chi hand but you just put it you know yeah you could do that but now you know they said that the next but any any 
his uh, hands fist. You haven't done right. Okay, so I'll tell you. I, I mean, right. having this sitting here. Yeah. It's kind of just you know, I me mean, not actually knowing your question, which is funny because I'm not <laughs> Man, yeah. stuff. But these hands, I mean, they Hasbro did awesome with this set. Uh, I am not happy about the packaging. I do not like it. Go back to the display boxes. I'll hopefully speak for everyone else. When you have a hard time as a collector putting all your figures up in a line, and then all of a sudden you have one box, it's not even the same size. That's a problem. The for sizing us. is more of an issue than that's the a problem plastic for us. For me. I think yeah. me too. Yeah, I think I'd be okay if the box. Because the, the artwork's same. amazing. Shout out to Adam that's Riches. Great. That artwork is tremendous. Oh, Absolutely, the Sergeant Slaughter set, great figure too. But yeah, just the the size boxing. It's yeah. weird that you wouldn't have the same size box. I mean, it, oh. for us, we care about that yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, uh, but the hands, man. You guys did awesome. Hasbro did a great job putting these hands in. Now, everybody, we get this question from a lot of people. The problem with these hands is that that tiny, <laughs> tiny little stem yeah. isn't really functional for the way we manufacture. And everybody knows we do 3D printing. <clears throat> we have a very flexible, rigid material, but we can't push it with that because you're going to put a lot of pressure to pop and that thing snap. in. And if it snaps on, then I'm going to get a call saying, oh, my <laughs> hand broke off inside the arm. And we don't want to cause that pain for you guys. We don't want to go through the agony of you guys having to call for that. We just don't touch these until we do our own figures that will have its own setup. So that'll be. So you have your own figures. Oh, I'm just saying. Oh, so you have your own figures coming out. Oh, 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 until that happens. So you have your own figures coming out. Until for, that for, happens. For Y'all hear that. Right? Until that happens. Christmas 2023. <laughs> yeah. You heard it first. <laughs> day 7, Christmas, 14, and Christmas 21. 2027. And yeah. Uh, day, day 7, 14, and 21 will be action figures. <laughs> <laughs> or head Pointy fingers, or, bird fingers. You can't see anything. <laughs> still, wait, still wait for head sculpts, right? Custom. I said 2027. All right. <laughs> All right, guys, we have some questions from our guy, uh, Dave Story. He asked for, and I think he answered some of these things with some of your releases because it uh, <laughs> you did release the AR with launcher. So we got yeah. that for the Viper. AR M203. He said from the Viper Bazooka pack, but we got that so, AR yeah. with launcher. That, so now yeah. but we're getting all in black. So, yeah, in black. so he even said in the comments that. that you answered the question. Yeah. So, but the standard SIG pistol release, he he wants to know if I, that that's SIG one pack, of mine too. So we, we've had a lot release. of questions about those. And we did yeah. release a few in there. So it was kind of hard because we were, we were trying to leave some excitement to buy the whole bundle if somebody wanted to get them all. But there is a couple like standard, like the standard release. Like we're we're going to do it. I don't know if necessarily it's going to happen during Christmas, but it's going to happen. And, and it, sure. it'll happen fairly soon. We've right. had a ton of requests for it. So Yeah, I think a lot of these questions are just in general not for ridness. Gotcha. But right. yeah, if you want to tell us that they're not or you Yeah, I think it helps for, not, not... Yeah, we don't want to spoil any And I don't want to have people anyway. waiting. No, is pretty much set. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. that's good. Yeah, our, our list on goodness is fairly set. Yeah. Yeah. All right, cool. And a couple more questions from Dave. Uh, so here's, here's one he talked about. It's a, like customizable loadouts where the buyer would choose like so you would give options, like say a specific long rifle would go with a pistol or something like that, mm -hmm. like kind of a buyer option, custom, like they would customize their own loadout. Totally. totally. No, I, this has been debatable for us. I mean, we've had uh, talks about this in the past. I think I, 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 I hate saying too much because everybody really expects certain things. I can tell you the thought we've had with this, and you guys can maybe jump in here and, and cool. let us know. I, uh, especially to us, you know, you can direct these questions here and or you can tell them to us. Yeah, leave comments on the YouTube Absolutely. and make sure. We'll, we'll go through better. these and they'll tell me if there's yeah, someone yeah. I need to take a yeah, look exactly. at. Um, we're trying, We're the thought behind that would be think green shirts, blue shirts. Yes. So they could, they wouldn't be really specific loadouts that you would be putting a bunch of parts to. They'd be more like you have this you know, A, B, C backpack option for your standard troop, an A, B, C standard weapon format for your base weapon, that kind of thought. So if that's something you're thinking, you know, where, you you know, there'd be a side, you know, everybody pretty much knows mm, how they up. do our loadouts. Now. Yeah. You know, there's usually a pack. There's usually some kind of headgear, a, a primary weapon, a secondary Sidearm. weapon. And, and yeah. then, uh, you know, if, and then if there's something specific. Yeah. yeah. And then we try to throw in as much of the little stuff as we can. Oh, man. Yeah, you want binoculars with this one? You want a yeah. knife with that one? You want oh, – sheesh. So it would be Sky's a nice – limit with that. It, it would good be a question, cool Dave. Yeah, yeah it's a great question. question. And I think I think it kind of goes into the things we were talking about yeah, with – Definitely. The old retro um, – The old retro – That was my question. 
Yeah. So that's an interesting uh, concept. Like, you know, wondering about those, those retro packs is a weapons pack to us could happen. It, it just, it just has to be done in a way kind of like our fixed mags where yeah, we can so affordably not... produce a bunch of weapons that are, they're maybe more of a base weapon to us, yeah, not part of our premier line. With, with uh, I don't think anybody would have a problem with that. It's just, you know, those accessory packs, the different colors of, you know, yeah, it was a good memory, oh, so. different yeah. colors with the backpacks and the helmets and the goggles and the knives and the pistols, totally. and different, you know, and that might actually rifles. happen with this format of doing kind of a, yeah, kind of maybe a, 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 a way to pick uh, different options. Oof. That might also be part of something like that. Right. Got gotcha. you. And so this next question from Dave, actually, you said you were going to ask this too. Uh, tactical vests. Oh, mm -hmm. my goodness. Yeah. The tactical. Any. I mean, so many of the green shirts can use a tactical vest no. or, well, you know. So I, I'm hoping, I don't know if this actually answers your question, but. If anybody really, once you get this in hand and you start to understand how this design happened, um, we're very close. Obviously, you know we're working our way down, but we're 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 steps away from really just kind of laying out how we think the fit, the 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 fit on this particular figure, kind of a you know he had kind of a base body. Yeah. Um, the fit of this is is just right on, and that's yeah. the hardest part with this is how do you get this stuff to wrap around? That, and that's his I would torso. Say that's very close his torso. To a tactical vest just and doesn't yeah. cover his front. You're body. almost yeah. there yeah. with that thing. Almost there, yeah. And it's we tactical, we did pouches sure. underneath and yep. things that are kind of around, right. but left the the ab crunch alone. So that was kind of mm -hmm. the big the big right. thing to that. That's you what know? you get into with getting tactical vests. Yeah, and you anything start like that. that up. Yeah. You start losing the articulation. You know, we've seen it on figures already, but. There's, yeah. a way, there's a way around it, and he just did it. And this cheated it a little bit, yeah, yeah. for sure. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, it gave that collar look and kind of oh, the, yeah. the, the oh, shoulder. I dig feel, it, right? Yeah. So, so, and this was your well, your question about the the monthly grab bag action pack. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah if I you want to ask him like a, further, like going with the accessory pack that we just talked about that that Hasbro put out in the '80s, you know, all different colors, like maybe a. Uh, I don't know, kind of the same thing, but like a monthly grab bag. Okay, for this month, here's a grab bag. It's going to have things that you determine what you want to put in there. Like, you know, here's binoculars. Here's the, We're just the, similar here's, to the, here's the climbing pick. That you too, yeah. This is this is the dedicated monthly grab bag of this month. Next month's going to oh, be something like different. April grab Next bag month's going to be another March, one. This is yeah. the April one. Oh, did you get that? Oh, it was in the April one. Oh, I'm waiting for the March one. Maybe you That's, could do teasers. Well, what's awesome about you know? this is uh, it's funny because we haven't even talked about this. Right. Um, it's funny how close you are to a concept that we're putting together and we're hoping, <laughs> we're hoping. It's funny because, man, you're right on okay. in, in a weird way. Good question. All right. So just <laughs> if everybody can prepare for this, we have, I mean, one of the biggest questions we've had since day one, are you going to have a subscription service? Are you going to have some way that uh, we can just kind of lock into something that every month comes out a certain thing? I hope everybody understands the complication of that when you run yeah. 800 different parts oh, and God. how that, you know, the logistics. <laughs> yeah. But we found a way to do this with Patreon, which we've kind of, this is kind of a, a reveal, I guess, of sorts, is we're planning to put a Patreon together Kind of what we want to call the gearheads page, right? The you know the guys that have been with us from the beginning that that are, are even coming on that are just excited about what we're trying to do and where we're going. This gives you a chance to help us get there, and by doing that, we want to be able to reward you with something. And so these were the thoughts: is maybe doing a a monthly grab bag or a drop oh, or a something. We know we're gonna yeah. have, we know we're gonna have content in there that will be worth the subscription. But there, because we'll do a lot of behind the scenes stuff and we'll do a lot of how things are made and the concepts and design. That's why you want to let me post questions. too many videos today. I posted a couple <laughs> and then I was, I was doing one. He's like, yeah, that can't go. I'm like, all right, delete, delete, <laughs> totally. delete, delete, delete. So he said, he's saving that for that Patreon. We're hoping the Patreon gives, we're, we're hoping we have a, a, a big enough following there that, that guys yeah. would understand why, what the use of that would be. Mm -hmm. We get questions about discount codes and coupon codes. This would be a way that we could do that feasibly for a small company like ours. Yeah. And right. with that kind because of help and it with makes a lot of sense. Yeah, yeah. You get, is a give and take there. Yeah. But we would love to be able to give everybody everything we can give them. And that's 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 I never asked you that before about the grab bag. We're, huh? That's the that's been the 
the way yeah. that was working. <laughs> Tony, yeah. you, got, you got more questions for me? Yeah. I, I don't have any on my list for you. I have you my accessory anything? pack answered. I grab bag answered. Yeah. Uh, one thing, I mean, this is a no-brainer because you keep coming out with different artillery every, every other day. Um, you know, HKs, HK pistols, HK USP. You know, like this, like Dave Story was talking about the SIGs. I'm like, ooh, I like that SIG. You know, ones that are that that aren't in battery, like the no. Beretta you did. I think it was yeah, yeah. Beretta. Yeah, yeah, SIG like that also. Yeah, the SIG like that. And yeah. oh man, that just that's all Quaid too, by the way. Yeah, uh, yeah, and I had to, I had to argue him with it. I was like, come on, really? You think guys are gonna want to have that gun open? Like, yeah. Oh, oh, at first, over, I, no, he. I I get it because the first I was one of those. I was yeah. like, what up? But for a pick, you know, for gotcha, a pick yeah, to yeah, throw yeah. it on Instagram, but throwing it, totally. and the way you did with Snake Eyes, hit it back. You see you know? it, yeah, and he he's had racking me, that. He sold bitch. me with it right away. Yeah, yeah okay. So man. yeah, but yeah, the answer to that question, man, is uh, HK stuff. We definitely are going to keep piling in. H H. Yeah. Oh have, my god, we have tons of room in all of their all those kind of different weapon systems. Did you have a G thirty six come out yet? Mm. <laughs> oh, HK baby, dude, that's a. That's a little shout out to Dan, another Dan, <laughs> and uh, I'll just say V because he knows who he is, and he he's been hitting us up for a G thirty six for a yeah. long time. Oh yeah. man, there's so many. We have a lot of guys that have been wanting that that system. So. Nice. Uh, and I can tell you this: if that's there's any, if anybody's really wanting a G thirty six, just know Quaid. That's one of his favorite weapon no, platforms. Awesome. So I've been piling all kinds of stuff in front of him <laughs> in designs, and he's. Oh, I bet. he's so when he gets to that, it's going to be amazing. Right. So can we get, uh, here's a question for me. Yeah. Can we get Quaid on for the final wrap up of, uh, 2022 year end of Gridmas episode? Can we get Quaid on? Yeah. And I don't want to answer for him, but I, I think he'd like it. Yeah. yeah, yeah he's gone be before. Nice. You can get him on. Right. Like I know Colin, man. I don't know, man. Colin just, he, he's like, he's in his own world, man. He just wants to make the product and get out. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But no, I, I think he's we, just we recording should, and he runs we're away. Talking about him, we're talking about him so much. We talk about him so much through the night and justifiably so. I think it would yeah. add a nice, uh, nice touch to our next episode. Mad course, showcase we'll, and respect we'll be, to I'll, Quaid. Yeah, man. I'll be back home. Will KJ and Ryan will join us and hopefully we get Quaid. We'll get a six and we'll, and we'll talk shop and awesome. we'll talk, we'll wrap up Gridmas and then we'll talk about the year of 2022. Yeah. But, I'm going to ask some of the questions I asked you earlier in person just as, for myself because it would be dumb not to ask here. Uh, you talked about those little uh, cards that come with the guns and how and, – and, and we were talking about file cards now. Okay. Now you want to maybe just tell them what you can tell them about. Yeah, so look, we've got those, and it, it kind of they all promote the AK you know series. These. And we've been doing that for a while. And all his weapons. We all got 600 of these. 600 AKs. Right, but how about <laughs> some cards on there that are collectible? So don't throw those away. Let's just yeah. start with oh. that. Don't throw those away because we're actually thinking about doing some kind of like you know, send in 600 of those and you get a free gun or something. <laughs> Damn it, I threw them all away. No, I didn't. We're going to go dive in the city. Dump. Purchase, you know. dive. No, but I, file cards meaning yeah. like for people who aren't super tech guys or for military guys that are enthralled with your product who want to learn more about the arms, maybe I thought a file, a physical file card, collectible file card would be really cool to come with a gun. Yeah, I, you know, I think... I'd like to hear what everybody says about that because yeah. it's we something it's feasible. First. It's yeah. feasible for us to do yeah. now. We think we, you know there would be some logistics to some of it, but yeah. but it is something we could do. I know everybody's been wanting to see a different card. We've been just hammering that thing. <laughs> um, but Definitely. you know, it's it's become kind of iconic with what we do now. So it wouldn't be hard though for us to be able to lay out kind of a little bit of a, an information about the weapon, kind of a collectible yeah. card. Yeah. yeah, and if so. Yeah, I didn't even maybe, have... maybe even you know we do it as like a chase thing you know maybe yeah and you can in. even do like a digital file yeah. so like because you're going to oh, yeah. start off with a digital file before you print it and that way if people like a lot of people are collecting the nfts and digital yeah, files cool. and this Somehow, would be yeah. easier for them to maybe compile a digital system and said but me i want the old the old binder oh, with yeah. the with the old school baseball card i'm flipping back and forth and you know this, this kind of ak and this i've got AR one of those almost filled up um, with well, yeah, but I mean, so, yeah, yeah, but this one, you know, oh, yeah, no, like, definitely, yeah. and then kind of like say, take them all oh, out. This, 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 this gun is featured in this certain media. You, you yeah. can find it in Battlefield 2024. You can see it in this movie, you know, whatever this movie yeah, is. They, they themselves become the collectibles. Or, 
Ooh. you know, like, yeah, yeah, they could be collectible yeah. someday. Just an idea and a little bit yeah, of story yeah. lore to what Gridiron's I'm doing. I'm curious what everybody says about that. How do you feel about that story and lore to Gridiron? Is there a story and lore to Gridiron? You're just making guns? Or are you thinking about oh. with <laughs> story lore? Because you're talking about action figures and stuff. So, I mean, yeah. is there what, a bigger, like, bigger story oh no i'm saying is that something in someday i'm not saying there is now but like someday oh. is that like something you're thinking about oh, ever absolutely because you're yeah. a hollywood guy or not you're love, you know you're, you're still writer, acting man, you're a writer so yeah i mean yeah. i think character and, and base character yeah. kind of goes into all the loadouts we do that's how yeah. i process the, the the early concepts and designs anyways yeah. How does that thing? What's the story behind? This is loadout? why we tried to have you drink so you could answer all these questions. <laughs> but yeah, nice tea. So he's giving us know. safe, safe answers. But uh, no, but so action figures. Or would you make it to these action figures? Would to support classifieds line and some of the other military lines, or would they would they be your own story characters, your own lore? Like, or what? How oh are you yeah, feeling yeah. About action I, figures. I I think that absolutely. Like for us, for us to even do a line of anything, like really uh, a, a figure line. A character-based yeah. figure line, the story is vital. I mean, I okay. think it's vital just to understand. I think it's where we all come from. Yeah. The reason why things like G.I. Joe have lasted. The Larry Hama. Dirt, I, I Larry collected Hama. the Ron, comic. Ron you know? Rudat, Larry Hama. Versus the yeah. numerous, I mean, really numerous companies that yeah. have attempted military um, right. figures that aren't around anymore because right. there wasn't anything behind them. Right. And shout out to like Call Sign Longbow, Operation Recall. Oh, they're yeah. Doing, those guys they're are doing great killer job. with the 118, but we, oh, there yeah. might be a void there for one, you know, 112. We have, you know, there's one other company and then there's classified, but there's yeah. not a whole lot of that. There's, there's some, some of them are trickling out here and there, but you've already had an established company for the last year. You're not just like, hey, another 112 action figure line. You've already set the yeah. standard with your product for a good, you know, a couple of years now. In fact, for us, it's kind of the yeah. base. Um, uh, figures have always been in the mindset. Yeah. I mean, it's it's always part of the the it's always part of the the gridiron story. Sure, but um, for us, we felt like if we could get everybody to understand what we're doing and how we're doing it, and let's just do something really good with this one type of product mm -hmm. that we knew was a need, then we could get some customer confidence. We could get some mm -hmm. um, you know get it going the, yeah. the fan base that would understand what we're doing. And so when we come out with figures, it should be clear what we're doing with them. It wouldn't be a shock to anybody of, of what they would expect because they know how we'd already created. That's the idea. We got it. Oh, no. Like a no. figure line that looks like Resolute-ish. I'm not going to say anything because I'm already I'm starting to, you know. All right. Mm -hmm. So, uh, look, any teases for now? We're at the end of the year almost. We're middle of December. We're ready, ready for Christmas, ready for Gridmas. Uh, it's almost a new year. Any teases for what we're going to expect from Gridiron Studios in 2023? We have some big plans for our our convention presence. For one, I that's guess you're say. answering one of my other questions. Okay. So yeah, so yeah, I double that. Uh, yeah, uh, we we have a big push to have a good presence at a show instead of just being a peddler of weapons. Right. And and anybody that's come into the shop or understands who we are or where we come from. We're, we're prop builders. This is what we've been doing. I, I've been at this for 25 years. Quaid's on making one-up stuff. And, and we now have, like, the perfect production director. I mean, Colin kills production. So we don't have to worry about what we're making or how it's going to be made. So between the three of us, one-up props, uh, helmets, weapons, those kind of things, you're going to see the gamut of scales. You know, we show you 118 and we show mm. you 112 because that's, that's a market need. But we have a love for a lot of things and a lot of different sizes. So you want to expand on that convention presence a little bit, just a little bit. I know. Yeah, yeah. We're lot, we're but. we're putting. Uh, let's just say we're we're putting a substantial uh, investment into the presentation that right. we're going to show. Right. Like show. you don't want to just be like one of these guys that's at a you know these companies that are just at a, at a convention sitting at a table. Oh, come yeah. see my stuff. You're, you're you trying to make if an If you're impact. a fan, if you're a yeah. fan of yeah. military history, weapons, oh my goodness. accessories, mm -hmm. you won't want to miss what we're you doing. You want to skip yeah. it. Mm -hmm. This is up. Bigger things ahead for 2023 from Gridiron Studios. But man, I don't know. You got any last words before we head out of here, Tony? No, I'm I think I'm I'm good for now, man. 
I think I can awesome. already I can already go back to LA. My trip is done. I don't know. We got Monday night football. We got Adam oh, Sandler. But man, I don't know, man. I just this one day alone's been spectacular. Oh, Thank awesome. you so it's been much. A lot for of fun. Awesome us. seeing you guys. Thanks hey, man, for having us here. I, I I'll tell you right now, uh, without your guys' support, I, I we, we wouldn't be where we're at. And mm. that's including everybody. I mean that we've had such a a uh just a, a circle of wagons, man, just put around us. That has allowed us to be clear, our minds clear from anything else that's going to interfere. Yeah. The requests and and you know participation we get from everybody, keep it coming, man. We have we have a lot of things and exciting things we want to make and what we want to do, and we couldn't do it without you guys. We couldn't do it without you know people that are out there buying. Our customers right. are important to us. So. Dude, thanks again. Thanks, right, brother. Love, you, brother. You, brother. love you, brother. Thanks, brother. Happy holidays. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Merry and Grinmas. Merry Grinmas. 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 Oh, there we go, man. So for Travis Moody, Anthony, Tony, Romo, Tony's Flags in the Marvin house. Gannon, Gridiron Studios. This has been Welcome to the Terror Drome, episode 14. Of course, at a toy kind of mood. Follow us, and we got lots that come, including I have a late night show coming on Fridays, 9 o'clock. PM Pacific time. I believe that's midnight on the East Coast. Stay up late with me every Friday night. We're going to talk about toys and cool stuff. And of course, every Tuesday, every Tuesday now, make you can. Every Tuesday, a toy kind of mood. There ain't shit on Tuesday. So I was like, let's do it. There's no good streams. There's no good, there's no good sports game. There's no good shows. A toy kind of mood every Tuesday at 5 p.m. Pacific time. 8 p.m. Eastern, a toy kind of mood, and Friday late night, a toy kind of mood at night with me, and more from the Terra Drome coming soon. So happy holidays again, and Merry Gridness, guys. We'll see you in the toy out. Peace.